Hello, class. This is Mr. Rivera. Uh, for today's art lesson, we're going to be talking about drawing from observation. Okay, so over the last couple of years, we've learned about drawing from observation, um, something that you will be doing this year, next year, pretty much every year, because this is what's called a drawing exercise that is to, made to help you learn how to draw. So the reason we do these things is because it trains your hand to follow your eye, which is called hand-eye coordination. Um, if you're playing sports, playing video games, this is something that you already use. So the trick is for us to learn to apply it to when we draw. All right, um, so today we're going to review the different ways to draw from observation. Um, and over the next couple of weeks, we're going to practice these different methods. Okay, so the first type is what's called contour drawing. Um, the contour means the outline of a shape or form. Um, so these are drawn very slowly. You're trying not to lift up your pencil and they do not include any shadows or shading. Um, it's essentially the outline of the object as well as some um, major details. Okay, so the next type is called cross contour drawing. Um, cross contour drawings are drawn like contour drawings, but they include lines that help us understand a three dimensional form. Um, so what that means is if we look at the one object in the middle, um, without those lines, it would look just like an oval. Um, because those lines are curving, they let us know that the object is three dimensional. Um, same as this one over here, these curves give us the impression that it's 3D when in fact it's 2D. Um, when we do cross contour drawings, you can have the lines go up and down, side to side, or sometimes they are both used. Okay, so um, next type is blind contour drawing. Um, these drawings are just a drawing exercise. Um, you are not looking at your paper at all. All you're looking at is whatever you're drawing, and in some cases you even cover up your paper so you can't see it. Um, this drawing exercise, it helps develop your hand-eye coordination because it's forcing you to look at the object and not your paper. And they're usually going to turn out very strange. Um, if they turn out like the examples we see here, um, we can tell that you were doing it right because you weren't looking at your paper. So when we do these, we want to make sure that, you know, we are following the rules because if it looks like the object too much, then you're probably not following the directions. Okay, and finally, the last type is gesture drawing. Um, these are actually drawn quickly and they show us action and they're often used to draw people. Um, they usually look very messy because you're drawing quickly, you're drawing lots of lines until you get the lines you like. Um, as you can see over here on the left, this is a hand, um, but it's drawn very messy, but we can still kind of see the fingers. Um, this one shows us a little better um, once you draw the shape that you like, you can then go over with darker lines to make the image look better. Um, the examples on the right, these are how a lot of people, including myself, draw figures or people. Um, almost draw kind of a skeleton, we draw it very lightly, and then we would go over it, adding the face, arms, legs, clothes, etc. Okay, so we're going to do real quick. I know that this is a video, so it doesn't work as well, but i um, pretty much going to show you some more examples of these drawings. Um, this one right here, I would have normally asked you what type of drawing it is. Um, looking at it, we can see that there are lines that go up and down and across. So that will tell us that this is a cross contour drawing. Um, those cross contours show us a lot of information without shading. Um, we could tell that this is an apple that is very bumpy, just how the lines that go across and up and down curve. Okay, um, so this one here, um, when we look at it, we see that it's a figure. It uh, looks like it's drawn quickly, and there's lots of extra lines, which tells us that this is a gesture drawing. Okay, um, this one, we see that it is a face. Um, but we notice that parts of the face are not where they should be. So this eye is kind of floating away, the ear is a lot lower. So there is a lot of detail though. So that tells me that this is a blind contour drawing. So the person that drew this was looking at the person they were drawing and not at their paper. 
Okay, and finally, this is um, an apple. So I see that there's really no detail. It's only showing me the outline of the object. Um, so that tells us that this is a contour drawing. Um, so there's no shading, no, not a lot of detail, just the main things. Okay, so um, what your assignment's gonna be for today is um, in the next couple of slides, uh, these are gonna be uh, four objects that you're gonna be drawing. Um, so although we learned all these different methods, you don't have to draw them that way. You can draw them just however you want. Um, next week, we will be focusing on a specific type and then you'll be drawing objects um, following a specific drawing method. Um, when you do this, um, you wanna make sure that you are taking your time, but you don't wanna spend more than a minute. Um, and when you are finished, um, my suggestion is try to draw them all on the same piece of paper and then upload a picture of your four, four drawings to Google Classroom before the end of the day. Um, so what I'm gonna do here on this video is I'm gonna put up each uh, object for a couple seconds. What you can do is you can just pause it to draw each one and or you can also, I'll also attach a picture of the four objects um, to the assignment. So you can either do the video or you can just open up the uh, the pictures um, to be able to draw them, All right? So this would be the first object, first objects in Apple. Uh, and as I said, you can draw it however you want. Um, and if you want to color it or add shading, you may do that. All right, so the next drawing is going to be a water bottle. Okay, drawing number three is a hand. And when you draw the hand, try not to trace your own. Um, we want to be looking at the pictures on the screen. Um, that's what we should be drawing. Okay, and the last object will be a flower in a vase. Okay, so remember when you are finished, you wanna make sure to take a picture of your drawings and post it to Google Classroom before the end of the day. Um, please make sure that you are looking um, to see that you did add an attachment. Um, if you are having issues, I have posted videos that show you different methods, including one that I posted uh, on Monday that shows you how to upload a picture using your webcam. All right, uh, if you have any questions, you can always send me an email, private message, or um, you can contact me on Zoom during our office hours. All right, so hope you guys have a good day.